So so tech. Subscribe. Hello and welcome to install SiteSync on your computer. Just go to its website, Samsung slash US slash SiteSync. There's a download for PC. Download for Mac also exists. None for Linux, I'm afraid. Anyways, when the download is done, just click it and it will ask you for permissions, possibly, and then you just click yes and accept. And uh, sure, sure. Takes less than 100 megabytes. Mm, yeah, why not? Let's let's just take the desktop icons. All right, this is gonna take. Okay, because of uh, Visual C redistributable, it's gonna take a bit longer, possibly. Although it seems like it's already done. Okay, so it's installing a Samsung USB driver, even if you already have it, which I think I do. All right, here we go. Bunch of files, a lot of image files, and these would benefit from being bundled. And we're done. We can like click, uh, keep this on, and click click finish, or we can just go to a desktop. And uh, there's the icon. So let's run that. Um, so here, over here. Now, what what is this supposed to be? Let's check this. Side sync. We downloaded it. The version that we got is uh, version 4.7.5.203. Okay, sure, why not? Let's just update it. Let's see what happens. Apparently, it works inside. That is good. Okay, I guess we have to go through this thing again. Oh, all right. Okay, the side sync icon disappears and reappears, and now no longer will be available for Galaxy S9. Why? So then the question is, which devices are supported by Samsung Flow? Only these ones. Interesting. And only the S9 appears to be exclusive to Samsung Flow. So that's good for you to know, I guess. Uh, okay, Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S, S9, S9 Plus, S8, S Plus, uh, S8 Plus. S7, S7 Edge, S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus, and the Note 5 and the Note 8. All these might benefit from using Flow instead. Anyway, so we're going to keep going. Close this. Side sync is over here. And now I'm just going to connect my phone to the computer using the USB cable. I still got a micro USB cable. I guess I'm going to allow access to device data on my phone. And now maybe just hit start. Okay. It's starting. Uh, Gal okay, I have the option to to allow it to install. All right, let's let's do it again. Open SiteSync on the device. All right, so first I have to install SiteSync from the Play Store. I suppose it's, it's pos please tell me it's possible from the Play Store. Please don't tell me I have to use the stupid Samsung Store. All right, it's available on the Play Store and it's only five megabytes, so that's fine. It needs permissions like making calls. Accessing files, sending messages, and recording audio. Okay, site sync source needs to be installed. Whatever that is. Okay, I just press start on the phone, and now it asks for permission. I press OK. Uh, I'm gonna press OK here. I'm gonna allow this. I think we're we're in it. Okay, the okay. The interesting thing is I cannot see my screen anymore on the phone. And I cannot use it as a touchscreen anymore, so this is a problem compared to other options. Alternative software, I mean. All right, we have all the permissions, that's fine. That's pretty cool, we get the notifications as a separate window. Click that out. Can we get rid of them? Okay, well, I clicked them by accident. Oh, we can switch back to a phone screen. That's interesting. Interesting. And we can full screen this thing. <sighs> so we can full screen this thing. We can rotate. That's not what I expected. Okay, we can enter apps, this game, for example. There's even a capture feature here. But I have to say the quality is quite low and the frame rate is quite low. Thing I would prefer another, op uh, yeah, another app like... Uh, Mirror or Go might be a better one. I still have to research some alternatives, especially ones that allow sound capture. And the thing is, I don't hear the sound of this game, for example. Actually, I think I do, but it's extremely quiet. Okay, let's pump up the volume. It's not working. So that is weird. Alright, so if we uh, switch back to phone screen and... 
put the media volume. It's already on full. So this is really not that great. Yeah, oh, come, come on. Uh, how do we change the volume? All right, let's do it directly in sounds, volume, media. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so we can actually hear the audio. That is awesome. Resolution is quite bad. Let's see what happens if we... Wait. Okay, we have... Is it here? Here, capture. What happens now? Yeah, I don't know. I think it only took a screenshot. Yeah, this was uh, just a screenshot. Here in settings we can find the location, I think. Don't automatically start it. Don't automatically connect. Sure, both is cool. Yeah, mouse and keyboard as well. I guess. And okay, here we have a uh, mirrored resolution. Again, bad quality. Disable screensaver, sure, and... And here is the uh, location where they get saved the screenshots. So we simply got this pixely, very pixely screenshot. All right, so bad quality. Probably not good enough for games most of the time. Uh, but it works, especially it works with sound, which is awesome. So if this helps, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao! Also, I really like this transition. This rotation is awesome. Very cool.